Today we are going to solve problem on mean calculation or average calculation once again using direct method and shortcut method but data will be different. Today we are considering data on group data. So let's see how we can solve problem on mean or average calculation considering direct method and shortcut method for group data. Now a particular illustration is showing on your device. So if we consider this illustration then we will find that we are given 50 companies sales. So considering the information given we have to find out mean or average. So let's see how we can solve this illustration. It is illustration number three. So we can write number three and direct method for group data and we have to find out here mean so we can write the equation we know mean or average which is symbolically written as x bar if it is sample data we are given then we have to write down x bar I have mentioned already in the previous calculation so for group data we have to consider f x divided by n and we have to now just explain the elements of the equation so where f means number of frequency in each class on the other hand we have x which is called as midpoint and we have also given n so it is number of observations and where we have to find out midpoint so we have to use this formula x equal L minus U divided by 2 where L equal lower class on the other hand U equal upper class so this is called as midpoint where in the group data we have two values and one is lower value another is higher value so the lower value we will call as lower class on the other hand highest or higher value we will consider as upper value so we have to just add lower value and upper value then that will be divided by 2 to get the midpoint or mid average of two values of the class or each of the class and now we have to draw a table to find out the x and fx therefore we will consider this is the cells and frequencies both these columns we are given in the question right now you can see as well so it is midpoint and it is fx so we can write cells and amount in dollar and it is thousand dollar so next we are given number of companies and it will be considered as F that means number of observations and next we have to consider midpoint and it will be symbolically written as capital X and finally we have to multiply F and X so we can write F and X so first of all we will just write here the amount given in the question so first of all we are given 100 to 200 and then 200 to 300 thousand dollar and 300 to four hundred thousand dollar four hundred to five hundred 
thousand dollar and lastly we are given 500 to 600 dollar and number of company if we consider we are given in the question so it is 5 and then 12 and next 8 I mean 300 to 400 thousand cells the company or number of companies are 8 and next we are given 10 and lastly 15 companies which sells actually 500 to 600 thousand dollar and now we have to find out midpoint using this formula so I just here show you a particular calculation then you will be able to easily understand how to find out others midpoint so first amount which is lower value if we consider the first class between two values the lower value is 100 and upper value is 200 so we have to just add 100 plus 200 that will be divided by 2 that means 300 divided by 2 and it is 150 so directly we can just show in this column 150 and here interesting part is you will just consider the difference between or gap between lower class and upper class if it is 100 then you will just add that amount with this I mean previous computation or previous value then you will get the following value so if we just add with this 150 uh, by 100 then it will be 250 and it will be 350 we can just prove how it happens because we have a difference between two values lower value and upper value is 100 so if we consider here again to find out this value I mean uh, 300 and 400 you will see 300 plus 400 that will be divided by 2 and it is 700 divided by 2 that means it is 350 so once and again we do not require to compute and that will take longer period of time or uh, time consuming we will just consider the amount which is difference between lower class and upper class that we can just add with the previous one and we will get the following value of the east class so it will be 450 and next it will be 550 and now we have to in the final column uh, what we have to do we have to multiply f and x so f is number of companies or fre frequencies and x midpoint we have computed each of the class so if we multiply 5 into 150 it will be 750 and next 12 into 250 so it is 3000 and then 8 into 350 it is 2800 and next 10 into 450 4500 and finally 15 into 550 so if we multiply it will be 8250 so this is how we have to multiply in the last column f and x and uh, our task now to just consider total number of companies so if we sum then it will be 50 companies and we have to sum this column as well to find out summation of fx so if we sum then it will be 19,300 so we can just close the table okay so we will just input the value computed value into the equation to get the mean or average using the direct method for group data so directly we will input fx the amount of fx is 19300 dollars and it will be divided by 50 i mean value of n number of companies or number of frequencies of the observations so after division dollar 386 so this is the mean or average when we are given group data considering the direct method we can easily compute the mean or average so i hope you have come to understand this easy calculation 
and hopefully this will be helpful for your next computation. Thank you.